sitting by their gaze watch strangers but we will lie to you guys just look at the ambience already oh my god this is unbelievable <laughs> Hey beautiful people, top of the evening to you all. So we are still around the Grand Market and we are heading towards a big monument here in Bamako. Mali so you guys come along with me and let's go Okay, so if you're new here, I'm coming at you straight from Mali Bamako So you guys welcome to Mali the cradle of civilization and the land of one people one faith and one goal so it's about five in the evening and i'm gonna be showing you something very pretty here which talks about the history of this country in some way so you guys come along with me and let me show you it talks about the independence of this country and i want to be walking you there to that beautiful monument so you guys come along with me Wait for me, let me go. This country, they are so strict concerning camera. So I'm very careful when I'm filming. Where we are going? is uh, not too far from here um, they call it the monument of independence and uh, I'll be asking people to show me where it is so I can also show you restaurant that's a restaurant as you can see So we are going to the Monument of Independence. Yeah, it's crazy. It's incredible that I can walk here alone and feel free. I'm so far away from home where I'm living, you guys. <laughs> Me, my brother asked me not to go out, but I said no. What's sir? I buy some. It? I sit. I sit. Hey. Lava. Please, what did they used to do? In the same <laughs> it's what? It, it. <laughs> oh, I saw this thing. I don't know what it is. I want to taste it and see what it says. <laughs> Uh, 
they used to do it but it tasted good i hope you saw it i don't even know where i bought my car today it's already late i have to hurry up and go and national something something this place we don't know showing the camera today when they start talking so it's on my face i'm just talking to you guys i don't want trouble they are always asking me if I will board their taxi. Union of creators, I don't know. <laughs> I've just seen that they have cleaned the gutters and poured it by the gutter again. They are so good. There's more room here in this country for improvement. They have vast land for real estate and all those kind of things you get. So you have a lot of land. All these sides are markets. So everywhere you pass in Mali, they are selling one thing or the other. I don't know where I'll board my cow, but I'm here talking plenty. It's five o'clock before I realize it's dark. When it's dark, I cannot really see the road because I don't know this place very well. But look at this place. There are offices and uh, shops. So this side gives, <laughs> gives a Cantamanto vibe. As you can see, they are selling towels at the other side, as you can see. So where we are going is not too far from the Grand Market. Let's say it's located uh, within the Grand Market. All these you see are shops, those ones. And they love to sell building materials because Everywhere you pass, people are still building because there's always land. People are still buying land. You do get, even within the city, there's always a bare land there that someone is building something. So those dealing in building materials, I think they'll make a lot of money. As you can see, we are just going right there. And we'll get us to the Independence Monument. It's ahead of us. So I just want to walk you through and show you where that place is. As you can see, I walked from the Grand Market and we are heading to that beautiful, beautiful place. I have seen it and I want to show it to you also. Yeah, walking alone on the streets of Mali. This is basically downtown Mali. This part consists of shops and stores so yeah that is why you are not seeing it to be like 
chaotic or something but that is it you get do you get so if you are enjoying the video if you are loving it kindly leave a big comment a beautiful comment under the video and if you haven't subscribed already do not forget to subscribe Bonsa. that is hotel de bamako wow and so beautiful. Huh? Ah? Hey! Hey, young girl! Huh? Ah? <laughs> okay! Huh? Ah? I'm here! Hey, this place, as long as you are walking, everybody wants to pick you up. So, you guys, yeah, where we are going, you see? Look at how large the place is. Everywhere is full of trees. I mean, one thing I like about the Malians is like, they love to grow trees. Although here they have a bit of water problem, but they love to make their uh, country look lush and beautiful. Yeah, so we are still walking to the Independence Monument, which is right ahead of us. This place has a name though. Yeah, look at that portion. Look at that, so beautiful. We have Echo Bank right here. And down there you can see the monuments of independence. I wanna be walking you there to show you exactly what we have there. That place looks beautiful. It's a place that people come and take pictures and uh, take videos and do all sorts of things. You can see right ahead, here in Mali, you see people selling fruits by the roadside on this kind of uh, stands, wooden stands. They just arrange their fruits, especially banana and orange, so beautifully like that. And they are selling them. Yeah. So, hey, if you want to cross here, it's not easy. I told you one thing I like about Mali is their roads. Their roads are super good. Super. Ah. Jesus. 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 Ah. You want to be in my video? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Oh. Like no no but I love you all right so my people we are in bamako kura so we are walking towards a historical monument here in bamako you can see from far the police are there so if i go and they allow me then we go check it out. They call it the Monument of Independence. You know they got their independence, so they have created a monument for it, like how we have the Independence Square in Ghana. So, yeah, let's walk towards it. The name of this is it Bamako Nkura. Yeah, that was just what they said. But let's go and check if we are allowed to enter the spot. Me, the police are ahead of me, so I'll, I'm just going to, you know, hang up and let's get closer to that place. You can see how this place is looking beautiful, very green. And yeah, that is it. Mm. Rest. So now I asked permission from the police and they rather guided me. This is their 
monument of independence. So where is the entrance? Yeah. So uh, this is how it looks like. I hope you guys can see. Me, I'm just showing you guys things in Bamako, Mali. So they got their independence in 1960. As you guys see, look, this is the monument of independence. They got their independence in 22nd September 1960. That was when Modibo Keita became the president of Mali and he ruled for eight years and died in a coup d'etat in the Jirikoni uh, commando camp in Bamako, right here in Bamako. So look at how the surrounding looks like. This place looks lush and beautiful, right? So you can see they are written independence on it, right? So this is how it looks. The monument of independence. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah, so you guys, I just led you here to show you how those place looks like. You know, I'm doing a good job in Bamako. Although I'm not being able to I'm not being able to post the videos because internet here is very expensive. And even sometimes when you get it, the network is so low, you can't even post it. So I have a lot of videos. Maybe when I get to Ghana, I post this for you guys. But yeah, this particular place has been kept so clean. You know, most places I've been to Bamako, they are always bonsoir. But this place, they have kept it clean because they know a lot of people, you know, like coming here to take pictures and videos and all that stuff. So yeah, like I was saying, this is the monument of independence and it's a roundabout as you can see cars moving about here so you got to sit i want to capture the whole thing all right guys so we are away from the independence uh monument and we are heading to the national park which is in Kuluba. So come along with me. I'll keep you posted. In fact, oh, this place is called the Place of Liberty. Alafia Bugu. Ah, okay. Alafia Bugu. The Place of Liberty. By the island, place of liberty. It's just here. In front of me, you see the hill that you see up there? That is something like Jubilee House in Ghana. If I say Jubilee House, you know what I mean, right? Where the president resides. It's on a hill. This city is hilly. It's surrounded by hills. So, that white building you are seeing there, that is where the president sleeps, here in Bamako. This is the railway, guys. Telepa office. You don't know office. 
You don't know office. It's a question. Huh? And you want to be in the film? Alright, so we are in Dar Salaam. We are heading towards the National Park. Down there, that's where they are directing me. They should come with me. They said they are going to play basketball. So they are leaving me alone. <laughs> then I have to go with you guys. So you guys all come along with me and let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Why, are you... <laughs> Why are you going to play the ball? Huh? Why are you going to play the ball? Basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Where? 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 Yeah. Oh. I can go? Me? Yeah. We, we go? I I'm going to play basketball. Huh? I don't know. Hey, you know that? Okay. Alright. So, Seba National Sports Stadium. Okay. Seba. Okay. Where is the court? Ah, okay. Alright. So, is this a school? A call? It's a park. Okay. So if you are going to play basketball, I don't play basketball. Oh, people. Hey. No. No. Yeah. And and for us, and I'm going to talk to the coach. That's your coach. Oh, oh wow. Let me go and meet the coach. What's that? Okay. Security is there, they won't allow a camera. Police. No, I'm police. Police. This is where you sit. No. Oh. <laughs> Basketball. Oui. There's a football. Oui. Football park. Okay. That's nice. Wow. Oh, okay. It's like a stadium. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A little stadium. Oh, okay. I see. Did you have a amuse? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I want to this tree, this tree. Alright, so that's their basketball court. <laughs> their colleagues have started playing already, but they are escorting me to the museum. Hey, these children, they say they can't speak English, <laughs> only French. So we are just mixing it like that for you guys. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. Alright, I'll get back to you guys. Oh, Very good. Very good. Which class are you? Class. Class. Uh, uh, Nevium. Nevium. Eight. 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 Class eight. 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 Oh, okay. Eight. Junior. Junior. Oh, Is it a secondary school or junior high school? Junior. No. Junior. 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 We are back to the museum. It's about a week today when we were here. Yeah, so I'm back today. Today they are working, so I'll be showing you uh, 
what we have here so when i was coming this is where i did my payment and this is my ticket yeah so come along with me and let's go I think the museum itself, they said it's somewhere up here. We want to be seeing what is there. Alright, so the captions up there at the entrance translates as National, National Museum okay. of Mali, the Millennium Mali, and Textiles from Mali. Okay. Mm, it's looking beautiful from without already. <laughs> I won't even lie to you guys. Just look at the ambience already. So you can see they have a water dispenser right there. Alright guys, so upon entering, the receptionist took my ticket and then directed me to where I should be heading. So the museum itself is divided into two sections, okay? They have a section for textiles and the other side for archaeological stuff, okay? But the downside here is that the person who explains, who does the explanation and everything wasn't around and the receptionist there, I don't know what was pissing him off. He was so pissed off with himself and he was like, he can't do any explanation of any sort. So I should just go. Yeah, so I just went ahead. He directed me to the textiles section that was the first place i went as you can see the written textiles of mali and upon entering there you could see that there are different fabrics of textiles in different colors pasted on the wall okay if you go deeper you will see malian designs okay those are the designs of textiles that they have in mali yeah, you may think that these things are primitive and historical, but believe you me, they are still in their existence in Mali. People still use these fabrics because Malians are great respecter of culture and tradition. They may try to modernize, but their culture and tradition is more conspicuous in the way they dress, the food they eat, and their way of life in general. Yeah, so... Yeah, that is Mali for you. That's what you get in Mali. As you even go further, you will see that there are some olden garments which are stored in the museum. Yeah, it's this ones. Exactly, this ones. They are something of history. And they are so pretty. Wow. I feel like they are the prettiest thing I've seen today. What do you think? Drop a comment and let me know. Just look at them. Hmm. Alright, so I know there's some form of history behind all these garments that you see there, but the people there can neither speak French nor English. They can only speak Bambara, so I'm just trying to put things together for you guys. So, yeah, all I know is that these are the textiles that you can find in Mali, like they are indigenous traditional designs, okay? Yeah, these are the sections that all these are indigenous Malian textiles fabric, okay, you guys? Yeah. And you can see that that one is cotton. These are kente woven in Mali, indigenous Malian woven kente clothing. Okay, yeah. And as we move on, this is an art on the wall. I don't know what it exactly depicts, but uh, it is something of importance. That is why it is there. And more and more arts are here. Alright, so this is the archaeological section. The pot you see there is a traditional pot still in use in Mali. They fetch water and put it by their gates for strangers to drink from. But as we got here, they just told me that filming is not allowed. So, yeah, these are the only things I could capture for you guys. So, yeah, let's move on outside. Yeah, yeah. So those are some historical wooden artifacts as you can see displayed in the glass. Yeah. So this, 
growth the archaeology huh? archaeology growth i go in so they said entering that thing i cannot film inside so you know i went to the zoo they didn't allow me to film you guys i was so devastated but what can i do i just have to abide abide by their rules that is their rule so yeah that's how the place looks but i have to go inside guys so we are all learners okay so anyone who knows what this is kindly drop a comment and let us know thank you <laughs> So those who can read French, I hope you can read it. Mm -hmm. So this part of the museum, so you know they are farmers, so they have some uh, holes and uh, what is that? What is that thing's name? Yeah, that is it. That is it. My people, take a picture. What is it? So this is the, is it the dungeon or the grots, grots of archaeology? All right, so yeah. Oh, we have another one. Okay. You know here, Morocco is surrounded by mountains. That is what I've realized so far. We have another. Ah, that one was archaeology, and this one is. Oh, what sound was that? Evolution. This is the growth of evolution. Wow. And this is how it looks. There's nothing much here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Those who can read French, maybe you can read. What do you do? Uh, that is a skull okay, of a human being. Uh, they are all skulls. They la mash. La freak. Sixty-six millions. I don't know if you can read. Then if you know, you know. But the only thing here is skulls. Wow guys, I told you Bamako is surrounded by some beautiful rocky hills and to me, I feel like they are just using it to their advantage. It's intriguing how creative these people are to have thought of digging these hollow shapes in these beautiful rocky hills to keep some of their historical artifacts and it's an attraction that people pay to watch. And it's impressive. What do you think? Drop a comment down below and let me know. That is not the only thing they use their sales for. They actually use it as a quarry as well from which they make money. They just use every resource to their advantage. And that is so cool. Where I went to the museum itself has a lot of history. But they will not even explain anything to me because they don't understand English. So that is the downside. If they had explained something to me, as I'm here, I could explain to you guys. But nothing was explained. So this is all I got for coming to the museum. And yeah, that is it. This is for evolution. I think they have another one. So this artifact basically depicts a hunter trying to kill a lion and vice versa and then eventually he ended up killing it and they used it for food lion yeah hunter oh okay so this is the hunter and this is the lion this one is what this is it a goldsmith or something wow Okay, so here he is using the firewood to set fire for the cooking process. You guys lie on for dinner. <laughs> you want to be believed. Cooking. Oh, God. 
cooking manger ça manger ah um, this one so kill this one and he's cooking it okay all right so the man has killed the lion and he's cooking it for food they are cooking it for food that very one and this one is like a goldsmith and this one i don't know huh <laughs> i don't know lion and <laughs> me make i take a photo hey. no photo <laughs> one photo <laughs> guys uh that thing that it is called a dinosaur me i just see this thing in movies right yeah dinosaur you know what this is kindly leave a comment and let me know photo no ah this one too what is it all right guys so if you like my video kindly give it give it a like and do not forget to subscribe okay all right this is what i saw <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching my beautiful video. Yeah. We are in a hey god. In the vegetable market. And I would like you those places so can you take you guys. At rush hour those places something else. Look at me. Oh my goodness. So I'm just showing you the vegetable market here in Mali at rush hour. The people are insulting me. They are insulting me, but I'm doing this. Oh my goodness. The place is so chaotic. The Malian traffic is different. So this is how those places at rush hour. Food, 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 food. Wow, so anytime you want to buy fruits in this market, it's better to come in the evening. Wow, just look at that. You have food everywhere. Oh my goodness. The market is so chaotic. Wow. I've never seen this before. So as you can 
can see, like I told you, food is very cheap in Mali. Right now, when you see the prices they are mentioning for the food, oh my goodness, you'd be surprised. Me, I can't speak French. So, that is why. Ade, you see me? I'm just quiet. And I don't cook. I would have bought some. But look, food. In Mali, food is so cheap. Wow. Just look at that.